The Erechtheon, the Caryatids, awaiting their stolen sister. The Erechtheon is the second noteworthy temple in the Acropolis. Chronologically, it is considered to be the last building the ancient Athenians constructed on the Acropolis. It is interesting to note that this temple was officially called the Old Palladas Temple. One of Athena's other names, which stressed her role as guardian of the city. The temple's current name, though, comes probably from its most important room, the one dedicated to Erechtheus, mythological hero of Athens. The Ionic style designs of the building were most possibly inspired by Pericles and Phidias. They themselves were not able to begin work on it though, as the Peloponnesian War was on its way. Works began in the midst of the war and were concluded by 407 BC. Its reconstruction went through phases, as work would halt and then start again at the first opportunity. There was a huge problem to overcome during the construction of the building. The southeast towards the southwest ground is at a steep angle. Managing to build a building that looks so uniform and compact without really interfering with the structure of the rock is truly an architectural wonder. It was designed to contain three parts, unequal in height, that are connected by steps without internal partitions, so that it looks like a continuous space. The front is on the east side and is characterized by a small arcade resting on six Ionic-style columns, called prostasis. Here one could find six doors which, when opened, would illuminate the temple. The central entrance, though, was on the north side. It consists of an arcade with four colonnades on its front and two pairs of colonnades on its sides facing outwards. Going in through this entry point, the first thing the visitors saw was a hall containing the altar to Erechtheus and Poseidon. It was said that at its center stood the rock marked by Poseidon's trident, the one that when struck gushed with seawater. After the visitor ascended a few stairs on the left, he would enter the part dedicated to Athena. This part was on a higher level, since the ground was on a different height, but the two parts still seemed as if they were one, as no parting wall had been erected. A copy of the ancient wooden statue of the goddess Athena, which was destroyed by the Persians, was placed here. Also in this room was the olive tree the goddess made grow in the mythological contest with Poseidon. Today, a much younger olive tree can be seen on the northwest of the temple, reminding us of the desire the ancient Athenians had for their city to be peaceful and productive. Sadly, Athens was not really a peaceful city.
The distinguishing feature of this temple is the arcade on the east side, formed by the renowned Cariadid's daughters. They hold the weight of the roof in place of the usual colonnades. The Cariadids descended from a place called Caries Laconias. They were famed for their excellent character and noble posture. It is probable they represent the change of the veil on the goddess's statue found inside the temple. <laughs> 